Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so you find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you are already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. I do really appreciate all of your continued support in the form of views, likes, comments, following me over on Instagram. It definitely is helping this channel grow slowly but surely. Today I have not one but two boxes from the Oddball Club. So I got two of them to share with you. I believe this is the August and the September box that have been sent to me for review. The Oddball Club is a super budget friendly and fun whimsical box every month. So these I think are the micro box which are just $10 a month plus $7.50 in shipping. She even has an itty bitty box which is just $7.50 plus $4.50 in shipping. I have opened a medium size box. I believe those are $24.99 plus shipping. And then I think there's even a kids box and a VIP box which is customized for $85. So if you are interested in subscribing to any of those, you can use the code HiNoel and that will save you 10%. As always, I'll leave all of that information for you in the description box below. Now you guys know I love my luxury lifestyle subscriptions, but I also love boxes that have a touch of whimsy, a touch of cuteness, things that will just make you smile without breaking the bank, and that is definitely what this box is. So let's go ahead and get into it. I also really love that she always features a female artist in every box, which I think is really cool. Now the Oddball Club is sort of under the parent umbrella of Ratbone Skinny, which is kind of a graphic design company. There's usually some really beautiful greeting cards that are included in these boxes, and those are often some of my favorite items. Now the August box has the theme, not of this earth and you can kind of see you guys there is a little QR code right on the inside of the lid so that is where you get all the information about the products it's kind of like an e-zine so we are going to use the phone to get into it so I can tell you all about it. Now I think that they're kind of just listed successively so I have to scroll down a little bit right now to get to the August box. But there it is. So this is what it will look like. It doesn't tell you a lot of information, just kind of tells you exactly what to be looking for in your box to make sure that you did get everything. So I'm gonna put that in front of me so I can tell you all about it and we will get into the tissue paper and see what we have got. There's actually a ton of stuff in here, you guys, for a $10 box, even with the shipping, it is under $20, which is very hard to come by these days in the subscription box world. So this is just catching me at my eye because I think it's so gosh darn cute, like the bag itself. So I have a feeling these are some fun stickers. Now she actually does a lot of the design work for the labels and things that go into the box, which does kind of add to the whole experience. So I think these are probably a couple little like stickers. So again, it is the theme of not of this world, I think, or out of this world. So we're gonna have lots of like kind of space themed things or not of this earth, sorry. So we got two stickers here, two decals. I love this one, very, very retro. We've got our astronaut with a boom box, carrying it on his shoulder with sort of the like colors behind. So it definitely reminds me of the 80s. Let me know if you were one of those kids who like dreamt of going to the stars or being an astronaut. I definitely was watching all of the rocket launches. I think it is pretty amazing that we have uh, civilians going into space these days. I love space. I think the stars and the moon are fascinating. However, I don't know that I'm like ready to uh, get my ticket to go to the space station. Now our second sticker is this super duper cute uh, female alien, I guess, or very girly alien. Who knows? They probably don't have multiple sexes, right, out in space if there's aliens. I'm not super into like UFOs and alien stuff. I'm more into the like celestial galaxy stuff, but I do think it's super cute and fun. So let's see what it says about these. It says alien and astronaut stickers. These guys are just too cute. Put them anywhere to brighten your day and remind yourself to look up. So I love the like astronaut. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so let's see what else we've got. Oh, this is interesting. So this is an example of one of the like labels that she creates. So it says it's a shooting star silicone popsicle mold. All right. So this is kind of reminiscent of those rocket popsicles, the red, white, and blue ones that you always see around like 4th of July. I have to admit, I've never actually had one of those, um, but I definitely associate it with summer. So 
This says pour liquid into the mold. I suggest coffee. Ooh, that would be so, so good. Fruit, yogurt, or a smoothie. Pop on the lid and place the star into the freezer. After it's frozen, leave the star at room temperature for about one minute. Then open the lid and gently press the bottom together to push up the shooting star. So it says it is easy to clean because it's silicone. You can even wash it in the dishwasher, which of course I absolutely love. So here you can kind of see the mold. So it's kind of like a conical shape. So I guess once you um, have something in there, you can kind of push it up from the bottom after it starts to melt. So it does have like that star shape. I just love that idea of having a, a little coffee popsicle, like an adult popsicle. I guess you could make it really adult and like spike it, but then they take longer to freeze. However, I think that's really cool. Or the idea of having it be like more of a yogurty one, like a creamy one. So that's kind of a fun little item to have in there. Um, here is like a big item, which you would not probably expect from um, a $10 box. So let's see if it says anything else. It says a handy tool to freeze your fave beverages, making them into a cute little popsicle. I re recommend again, coffee or flavored tea lattes for caffeinated pick me up. She's got so many good ideas. All right. So here is the big item that I was not expecting to see in a $10 box, you guys. And it is a whole water bottle. Now we have a lot of water bottles. I have a lot of water bottles from all the summer boxes, but again, in a $10 box, this is pretty impressive so nice and simple you can put those decals on it just to kind of decorate it and make it fun in a beautiful sky blue it's got these like metal details but I think this part yes this part is plastic versus like uh, metal or aluminum but it does make it very lightweight and it also kind of makes it dent proof as well as shatter proof so that's kind of nice it does feel like it's got a pretty good seal on it though so you can always have another water bottle and I like these ones that are kind of um smaller in diameter so that they actually will fit probably into your um, cup holder in your car. So it says it's a 22 ounce water bottle, hand wash only, and it says for cold drinks only. So it's not like insulated or anything, but it is kind of cute. So it says a uh, water bottle to keep you hydrated on this planet and the next. <laughs> All right. So although I think when you're in space, right, you have to like Pac-Man style it because it's like the bubbles. Um, and I always remember watching stuff and I always thought the coolest thing about going into space was like the food you had to eat. And then of course, how do you go to the bathroom when you're an astronaut? Don't like to think about that too much. All right. So here we have something in a little black box with some gold writing in, I think, Chinese, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to guess that it's like a makeup item of some sort. So let me go ahead and pull this out. So it kind of looks like an eyeliner. Um, it's got gold stars on the outside. I'm going to peel the plastic off maybe and try to find out what this is. So it says, oh, you know what it is? It says it's a star stamp. So it's a star makeup stamp. It says they're a great addition to a new makeup look that adds a touch of mystery and excitement. Perfect for Zoom calls or a new date. I think this would be really fun if you're like going somewhere uh, like to a concert or to a festival and you can like, because I've seen the winged eyeliner stamps. I've never actually used one because the like, ones that I got were like really, really thick, but I I think that a like star or two like would be kind of cool it'd be like having tattoos on your face without obviously the commitment so let me see if I can get this to open up um oh so on one side we just have like a liner like a brush liner nice like fine felt tip and then I'm thinking this yeah so on this side it is a star stamp can you guys see that so that's pretty cool. It's not too big either. So it's not going to be like too, too crazy. So I actually think that's kind of fun. Um, let me see. I, I'm, I'm scared to put it on my hand right now just because I have to go to a meeting like right after this, but I will definitely uh, check this out and try it. Maybe, you know what? I'm just going to do it and see if it works. Oh my gosh, you guys look, that's like a perfect little star. That is super duper cute. I love that. I would totally put that on the corners of my eyes. So that's a really cool item and it totally goes with the theme too. Love that. All right, let's see what else we've got. So now I can't share that with anyone because I just stamped myself, but I'm into having something like this. Uh, let's see what we've got. There is a spaceship patch. Use this patch. Oh, I think there's a patch in here, but it's like I, the glue, it came off of the glue part. So let me find that. It sucked. It stuck to something else. So two things stuck to each other that weren't supposed to. So here is our spaceship patch. Let me stick that back on there. Now you guys, let me know if you know what to do with all of your patches. It's kind of like stickers. I know a lot of people have like a flare, like denim jacket, and I've definitely thought about doing that. It's just, I like the iron on patches versus the ones that you actually have to stitch on. 
on because I'm afraid of messing those up. But let's see what it says about our little spaceship patch. I'm like looking down at my little star on my hand and I totally like love it. So let's see, it says about this one, some fun UFO flare to brighten your day. So that is pretty cute. It's very like pink, this uh, little ray that you're gonna land on a tractor beam. I guess it's a tractor beam, it's a UFO beam. Um, let's see what else we got some nail stickers so it's like she has her own washi tape almost it says out there nail stickers so let me see maybe i can pull these out um i do like getting nail stickers every once in a while at my nail salon they'll like give me a freebie like around the holidays just for the heck of it i'm trying to make sure these aren't like stuck in here in this little sleeve but of course i'm not going to be able to pull it out but i was just going to try to show you so you could see all the cute little like UFOs and stuff, but you might have to like kind of look through the plastic instead. Let's see, let's see. Almost got it. Maybe? No? It doesn't want to come out, you guys. I'm sorry. So I'm going to have to like not make eye contact with it. There we go. See, if I don't make eye contact with it, if I just pretend I'm over it. Um, it looks like I think there's some like glow in the dark ones on there too, maybe. Huh, we'll have to see. So here is what they look like. You can see there's some aliens, there's some spaceships, there's some planets, but then there's like these like white spaces where I think like the beam or like, you know, the tail of the star, it looks like there's some extra stickers. So I feel like they might be partially glow in the dark, which would be super duper cool, especially for Halloween time. So let me just read up on that. Let me find my easy in again. So it says you could have gotten nail stickers or temporary tattoos. I have to admit, I love some temporary tattoos, but nail stickers are fun too. It says a fun way to upgrade your skin or nail polish. Give the nail stickers a shot with white polish and the tattoos anywhere. The tattoos glow in the dark for a fun way to put out a vibe. I kind of think these glow in the dark too. I'll have to give it a shot and try later. So I think we've got one more item in here. So here is one of our um, Ratbone Skinny uh, greeting cards, which I love, love, love. They're always like made on nice paper they always have an envelope and they're usually pretty darn funny so this one says you're out of this world and it's just got like a very like hand-drawn alien like kind of kind of creepy in all honesty uh just blank on the inside but it just came with this simple craft brown paper uh envelope so let's see what it says about this it's says ratbone skinny handmade greeting card let someone you know think they are out of this world so let someone you know let someone you know know that you think they're out of this world that was like a really confusing sentence so we got our homemade greeting card we got our nail stickers we got our shooting star ice pop mold our alien and astronaut stickers our ufo patch our star stamp my favorite thing in the whole box and a water bottle and then let's find out what it says about our featured artist oh our featured artist is a uh, rat bone skinny paper which is cool it uh, says let's see what is Ratbone Skinny Paper? It says, glad you asked. Ratbone Skinny was conceived in Los Angeles in 2013 and is currently a Palm Springs based company that creates weird and witty greeting cards, pins, gifts, and goodies. All cards feature one of a kind illustrations that are hand drawn and digitally printed on awesome paper. Ratbone Skinny designs cards that excite and tickle, cards and gifts that the world needs most. I also expanded this into a lovely subscription box, the Oddball Club, that aims to deliver small gifts and big smiles awesome you guys so that was our august box i think i'm going to scroll up for our september box now don't get too confused because the september box kind of has an october or halloween theme so that you can enjoy it in october and they are still available if you're looking for it so here is our um this is our October box, but technically it's the September box. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It's got a cute little picture of a little ghosty and a pumpkin. And again, we got our micro box. Oh, I tore the ghost. I'm so sorry, you little ghosty. Um, then I'm gonna open it up and see what we've got. So this box was a little more shallow because she didn't have to fit an entire water bottle in there, but you can kind of see, you can kind of see the vibes in there. There's definitely some Halloween stuff inside. So let me find everything here and hopefully we can do it. So it looks like we have got a bath potion and this is pretty impressive, you guys. It looks like sand art because it has three different colors. It says happy fall. This is from Oily Blends LLC. So that is lovely. I'm not gonna mess with that too much because I will pass that on to someone who enjoys their baths. Let me see if I can find this one. It says, 
Oily Blends Bath Potion, a fun way to upgrade your bath and feel festive. Yay! Fun way to feel, oh, this is super cute. I don't know what this is. It says it's a Halloween hair clip, you guys. It is a sparkly bat. I freaking love bats. I think they are so, so adorable, but look how cute that is. Even though it's hot pink, you guys, so it's just got one of those little, um, uh, little clips where you can just kind of put it into the side. I think that is so adorable. I would have to put it on this side It always kind of gives me like a little girl effect because I wouldn't be able to put it on this side where uh, So the bat is upright. Maybe I can I don't know. Let's see if I can find out what it says about this one it says I Don't see this on here, but I will find it eventually <laughs> so it says Nope, don't see it. It's don't see this one. It says freebie. Halloween hair clips for a cute statement. It's a freebie, that's why, because it said freebie, colon, and I wasn't looking. So here is my little bat. That is so cute. <laughs> All right, what else have we got? Oh, fun. Halloween thumbprint activity pad. This is a great thing to have. I was just visiting my adorable little nieces and I found myself like wanting to have crafts and stuff to do with them. So you can see there's a little ink pad. It's got three different fun colors and then there is just this little thumbprint activity pad. Looks like we've got some stickers in there. Man, my nieces would love, love, love this. Tons of them. So it's like little, um, little stickers so you can do a thumbprint and then you can turn your thumbprint into, for example, a little vampire. And then there are some pages that have like little background pages for like Halloween City so you can put your thumbprint on there and then use all of the stickers to create a whole scene so how fun is that um, and you don't have to share it with a little person but you can definitely good thing to have on hand so let's see what it says about this it says thumbprint activity pads channel your inner kid with this 24 page craft and make some monsters come to life in the graveyard scenes what else have we got we have got oh this is so cute from the oddball club it is a little ghost it's a little girl ghost with a little pumpkin that she is holding that is the super cutest thing ever mini ghost pin this adorable cookie pin is so sweet we could just eat it up but don't so it's supposed to look like an actual frosted cookie which it does so it's like so many things in one. Oh my gosh and it's like mini mouse ears you guys it's like perfect it's like mini mouse ghost pin cookie pin it's all the things all the things what is this? This is the Boo Crew stickers. So it looks like we've got a little packet of stickers. I think my stickers might have fallen out of here, you guys. So it's like a little box, but I'm not seeing anything in there. They might have fallen out, but I will find them later. Here is our Ratbone Skinny card. Yay. This is super cute and super simple. It uh, does have an envelope with it. It just says Seasons Creepings. <laughs> it's just a single card. It doesn't actually fold open. So let's see what it says about this. Um, Rap on skinny handmade four bar card. Send some seasonal creeping someone's way to brighten their day. Then we also got some nail stickers. Now these are more like ones where you cover the whole nail. These are ones that don't usually work for me, but I could see them also being fun to share with someone. Um, also, they have little spiders and spider webs on them, and I have major arachnophobia, so I will not be using those because even if they're fake spiders they kind of creep me out like when people decorate with like huge spiders and stuff in their house I can't do it so I think we got like a fun skull handkerchief which I am um, now in some cases you could use this as your face mask but most places kind of frown on that you have to use something a little bit a uh, little bit sturdier you can't use just a bandana I'm trying to find out where I can open this there it is always hard to find the flap you guys so it looks like kind of silky so it's kind of a glam skull handkerchief let me see if i can get into this we have so much stuff in both of these so you guys look how silky and pretty that is i'll have to like see if i can do something so if you're someone like me who doesn't really like to dress up but you'll kind of you might find yourself going to like halloween events this is a great way to kind of dress up for halloween without actually having to dress up so it says accessorize your look with this scarf around your neck or in your hair you could totally tie your hair up in a bandana i think that would be adorbs and then i think that that is it so let's just make sure we got everything we got our strap on skinny card we got our bath potion we got our fun festive nails our mini halloween stickers which i'm just not seeing them in here but i'm sure they are we got our um let's see our skull scarf which i definitely really like so here are some of my stickers right there so i guess maybe it was just like this one little sheet of them we got our thumbprint activity pad which is also one of my favorite things we got our mini ghost pin also one of my favorite th things and then our freebie which is our halloween hair clip so 
I love that. So the featured brand was Oily Blends and it just says here we value results. Smelling pretty is nice but actually having products that work the way they describe is even better. Our all natural bath and body items are affordable handmade alternatives to the big box store items. I thought this box was awesome, you guys. You can still get this, and again, it's just a $10 box for all of these awesome kind of Halloween, fall, festive goodies. I love the clip. I love the pin. I love the scarf. I'm going to do thumbprint activities very, very soon. Let me know what your favorite was in both boxes in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please do get a thumbprint up, and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.